it's Lena from the Land of Gods and we are doing the weekly reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from 2nd till the 8th of May. Guys, please remember these are general readings, times, fluid and energies can be reversed. So please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive if you are here for the first time. Welcome aboard, welcome to my channel. And if you've been kind enough to come back, thank you so very much. Everything that you have been doing and have, whoa, look at that. I was saying everything that you have been doing and continue to do for my channel. It is highly appreciated. Thank you so very much. I am already told we have the challenge out and well, we got to keep going then. Let us see what the advice is and the outcome if the advice is followed. Of course, we're going to clarify all the energies and wrap up the reading with an oracle guidance message. Whoa, what are we? Okay, not those, this. Okay. And the outcome if the advice is followed. There you go. Horror Lodger, we have the Hierophant as the overall okay so when i was shuffling there was feeling the energy of you're giving your best you are doing all you can at that point in time uh, to the best of your abilities but it's just not getting pushed through and it seems like you need to expand yourself there is a sense of expansion here whether it is knowledge-based expansion, whether it's experience, whether it is studies, whatever it is, it needs to expand. And only then can that last bit that you're not able to process or get through, you will be able to get through. There's something more you need than what you have or what you are right now for you to push through this, whatever that you are dealing with. Let's go, challenge we have the temperance the aviatrix in the reverse things kind of off balance right now as i said it feels like you're just about to achieve something and then it just tumbles down again and you are like you feel is just almost in your grasp and it just goes away yes yeah, that sense of mirage that every time you walk to the water it just goes further away there's nothing there to be found what is the advice? The advice is 10 of airships, 10 of swords. There's something that you need to let go, whether it is the approach that you are following for whatever this thing is that you are trying to reach and kind of tumbling down again, or acceptance of the fact that your approach wasn't effective. We need to figure out an effective way to deal with this, a way to decode this. Whatever your approach was, was not effective and the acceptance of it is needed because I feel that for the sheer reason that you had put in so much of a hard work to reach where you want to through the path or through the way that you were trying to reach there because you have put in so much of effort in this you do not want to let go of that like what i have to start from the scratch but with this way we just almost reach is just that yeah right it's just that last five percent or last few steps you need to realize this way this approach this ladder ends right before those five steps right before that five percent your battery runs dry this is not the ladder to go up even though it took you a very long time to create this path you need to accept let go and figure a new way out and if we do moon voyage you definitely will be able to set yourself on some kind of journey you might not know where you are headed because of course the approach is going to be new because we are going to let go of the well-known approach or well-known path that we were following the a and the b's and the c's that we have been trying to put one after the other because we have let go of that 
the new way is taking us to a new journey that we don't know about there is lots in surprise for you wow look at that hierophant moon and temperance three major arcanas here clearly this whatever the new journey that you want to set yourself on is in some ways life-changing life-altering i hear not necessarily life-changing but life-altering let us clarify aviatrix in the reverse see you have been trying to work on things but just you just reach there and just kind of fall back and you've been trying to work for your ten of cups hangman yeah we've not been able to look from a different perspective from a different standpoint we have been very rigid in the way we are approaching this whatever that we are approaching we have been very rigid we have not been trying to look for an alternate solution an alternate way to deal with it queen of swords coming in the reverse with the ten of cups we want to reach to our ten of cups but we have no clarity whatsoever how and we are just extremely extremely stubborn of doing the things that the way they have always been done that hierophant energy is kind of there but hierophant energy is not just sticking to the traditions sticking to the roots sticking to the old ways but also be open to the new ideas so you are just seeing only or you are experiencing or you are practicing only one side one aspect of the hierophant energy hierophant energy yes is to do with you know set rules things that have already been tried and tested but also be open to new ideas new ways new approach new standpoints new perspective 10 of airships 10 of swords this wanna come okay Ten of Swords in the advice. Yeah, Queen of Cups, listen to your heart. Don't be so rigid, okay? It feels like there is some sort of rigidity and we have to accept what we are trying to do is not working. I see death as well. Five of Wands. See, we are either fighting with others around us or ourselves because of the fact that we have put in so much of effort already in this tried and tested method that we do not want to let go of it we are just holding it with our dear life see till the time we don't accept that it is not really working the way we are approaching this method is not suited for this particular task and till the time we don't listen to our heart and tune ourselves and be honest with ourselves we are not going to be able to somehow in some way find a breakthrough that six of wands that victory is giving me the sense of a breakthrough coming your way let us see so many yeah king of pentacles we need to have a balanced approach for this we are missing that balance we need to maturely think through pros and cons of each and every method this we have tried so far it hasn't worked okay what could be the alternate solution okay let us come with you know contingency plan a b c that is what i feel this is standing in your truth doing that water level check seeing where you exactly stand how far you need to go what all need to be tweaked there needs to be a tweak and then you can reach your nine of cups this is something that you truly want this is something that you feel can take you to your ten of cups towards that abundance towards that fulfilling life and this as i said this six of cups is that you know tried and tested feeling that i am getting with that hierophant that this is an old method you cannot achieve something out of the box when you are thinking always in the box your thinking needs to get out of the box for you to achieve something out of the box okay so get out there yeah look at that ten of pentacles with that king of pentacles coming the abundance is going to be your way as soon as you try and approach this whatever that you are trying to approach whether it's a person or seeing a change in your uh, work stream whatever that is as soon as you realize that my old methods are not going to work in this situation and i need to figure something out and 
what exactly have I done so far? Do some kind of introspection. That page of swords is giving me that energy of, you know, standing in your truth, at least knowing and being aware of your truth. And man, look at that. Knight of Pentacles and Knight of Cups. While you are doing that combination permutation, trying to, you know, come up with a contingency plan, the Knight of Pentacles can come up with soup herb contingency plans and just go with it and you are going to reach your ten of pentacles the nine of cups it's very much within the reach we just need to change our way of you know moving forward that's all moon voyage it's like if you cannot cross the river you need to find a way around it and you might have to take a long route but Better to take a long road than just be stuck. Let us see if we go ahead and take that long route, a different route, a long or short, I don't know. But at the end of the day, it has to be a new one. Where are we headed? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this is again giving me that holding on to my ways, you know, my methods. Eight of Wands. Five of Wands, Page of Pentacles and the Sun. The Moon and the Sun, the Cosmic Blueprint coming in together, the Cosmic Energies. This is for your higher good, that I can tell you Capricorns. This is for your higher good, that is very clear. There is still some kind of tug of war in your heart going, but if you accept that the new way is... An unknown path, but it's all right. I'm going to still move and be a little open. Help is going to come your way. Support is going to come your way. You are making space for newness, so newness will come in. That is definitely there. There is newness. There is joy. There is happiness. The newness is actually bringing in that abundance. Look how many beautiful cards we have here. Look. We have the Ten of Cups, the Sun, the Nine of Cups, and that Six of Wands. Yes, you would be able to, you know, reach where you want to be, where you desire to be, you know, able to achieve your goals, able to fulfill your dreams. You would be able to do all of that. It's just that we need to make space for newness. We need to be open-minded for us to be able to allow those new energies to come in. I see in the near future, yeah. In the near future, it seems like the cosmic blueprint is being manufactured for you. Yeah, a brand new cosmic blueprint is being manufactured for you. Let us get a final word, spirit. Final word for my Capricorns for the spread. No opportunity. I'm going to read first the no and then opportunity. Opportunities are knocking your door. Look, that eight of wands is where I'm taken to. So this no, I feel, is this approach for the approach that stopped this approach of being so rigid. The tried and tested method hasn't worked. Give yourself a chance. To be open to a new method. Yeah, give yourself and that new method a chance. Let us read this. No. The answer to your question is no. You may gather additional information by asking another question surrounding this issue, drawing another card. We already have another card. Opportunity. In the near future, I still remember. It just showed me again when I am flipping. Positive growth and expansion is on the horizon for you. Expansion, that is the word that I used even before we started the clarification. Thank you so very much, Spirit. This opportunity may bring with it inspiration and insight, or it could be the chance you've been waiting for to take action on ideas you already have. 
you may be seeking to manifest the chance to create changes in your career, buy or sell a home, or bring romance into your life. Whatever you desire, your angels are about to open a door of possibilities for you. I'm again taken to that eight of wands here. Yes, possibilities are opening up the sun and it is all positive, very, very positive coming in. So step right through. You are being nudged. You are being inspired. You are being motivated by your angels to move into this new flow. Let the old flow be. If you seek new opportunities in life, then you need to be open for it, Capricorns. And on that very open, positive note, I'm going to take your leave. Thank you all for joining me. It's a wrap. Namaste from the land of gods.